Hello, and welcome to GarageBand Lesson 5. In this lesson, we're going to convert audio files. So we need two things. We need audio files, and I have them linked here on the lesson page, and we need file conversion software, also linked on the lesson page. And we're going to be using Switch. If you haven't downloaded it yet, you'll need to do that before you start your practice items. The link takes you right to the page. There's a free version of the software that you can use and I already downloaded that so we get that out of the way. Now it's time to get these audio files ready to work with. So click. When your window opens it might say save, it might say open with whatever file it thinks will work. We're going to save and then we're going to do the next one, save, next one, save, next one. Oh. This is different. It's opening as a QuickTime movie. This is a MIDI file and we'll go into the whole importing thing in the next lesson. But for right now, just click on the down arrow, save it as a QuickTime movie. Mine's going to the desktop and we're finished with that. And it looks like everything else is already downloaded. We can get that out of the way, get this out of the way, and we've got our four audio files. We have this one which says M3U, our QuickTime movie version of a MIDI file. This one is a FLAC and this one is AUG. So why do you want to convert files? You convert files so that you can use them for different purposes and our first purpose is to use them in GarageBand. So we're going to open up a new file File new, we'll call this converting songs. And as usual, we get that keyboard that we don't need. We get the grand piano track that we don't need. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see our files down there. All right, now you could look up on the reference list and find out which files work with what, but I think the easiest thing to do is just to drag it in and see if it goes. So I drag it in and I do not see a plus sign. I let it go and it pops right out. So that one didn't work. Let's try the next one. Oh, that one didn't work. And the next one, that one didn't work either. One more and look. None of our four files work with GarageBand. So if you want to do anything with editing with those four files, you would definitely have to convert them. But before we do that, let's see if they work in iTunes. So we'll open up iTunes and here's my GarageBand burning playlist from last time and we'll try it. So here's the first one, M3U, up oh, and look, and it went. Now this is a streaming audio file. That's what this little icon means. We can play the song. It's connecting to the internet. And there's our song. Now, we can play it, but we can't save it. We can't modify it. We can only listen. But it works in iTunes. Let's try the next one. Put that one in there. Up, oh, and that one's going too. And the next one, flak file, nope, and the og, that didn't work. So two out of the four went into iTunes so we could at least listen to the music. But we want to work with those files and modify them. So we're going to get that out of the way and now we need to convert our files. So we're going to open up switch, here's my switch, and we drag them in. And here's the first one. And look at that. Guess what? It doesn't go. That's because this isn't actually audio data. It's simply a link to those songs on another website. So you can listen to them with iTunes, but you can't modify them in any way. All right. Our MIDI file, which got turned into a QuickTime movie, that went. Our FLAC file is in. Our AUG file is in. Now it's time to convert. We need to do a few things. We need to select the output folder and right now I have it set on my desktop. This is what my computer's name is. There's my desktop. You could type in anything you want. You can make a new folder. 
I'm going to keep it on my desktop. You can choose the output format and there are lots of different formats here and there you can look on the reference list and see what those all mean but we're going to stick with mp3 because that is a very compatible file format. So keep everything else the same. You can click on convert here. You can click on convert here. And now we're finished and two out of our three worked. One didn't. And, but don't panic because we've got another option for that movie file. So let's take a look at what we have on our desktop. We have our OG file that got turned into an MP3. Those are near each other. We have our FLAC file that got turned into an MP3. This one went into Switch, but it didn't convert. This one wouldn't even go in. So we're finished with that. Get that out of the way. Let's bring GarageBand back up here and we'll see that the FLAC file that didn't go is popping right in there. The OG file that didn't go in before. So you can play those. You can edit them however you like. The movie file didn't go in before. That's still not working. That's still not working. So let's go back to iTunes open up iTunes and if you remember that movie file went in it's right there so if you want to convert that one we go to advanced create mp3 version remember we did this before and then we go back up into our library and we type in the title and there it is. We've got two of them. So this is our mp3. Drag that out and now we have an mp3 version. And that is converting files with GarageBand. Thanks for watching.